Hi everyone, I am Insane Brio and welcome to another Gamemaker Studio coding tutorial. Today I am going to explain the alarms, which are a pretty powerful tool inside objects to make uh, something happen after a fixed amount of time. So let's begin. I create an object and if I see on the events I can see the alarm event. And to be more exact, they play each object has 12 alarm events, from alarm 0 to alarm 11. They are equal. So if you use alarm 0 or you use uh, alarm 11, there is no difference. The only difference is that uh, you will have to use a different alarm. Because the play is sorry. <laughs> each object has uh, 12 alarm variables from alarm 0 to alarm 11 which one uh, linked to a certain alarm event so alarm 0 will uh, activate alarm 0 event and alarm 10 will activate alarm 10 event but how do I calculate the time I need? well if you remind when you create the room you have a certain room speed which are the amount of steps that the game runs every second so the frames per second, the FPS of your game in this case by base is 30 if you make a PC game maybe you would like 60 but uh, when you learn 30 is enough so 1 second is 30 steps so you have to calculate essentially that 1 second is 30 steps so if you want for example a certain action to happen after half second you will have to set your alarm to 30 steps multiplied by 0 0.5 seconds so in this case 15 steps if you want uh, 5 seconds you will have to put 30 steps per multiplied by 5 so 150 and so on now let's uh, make for example let's see how to use a, an alarm first of all I create a variable called val equal to 0 and uh, let's make uh, that we want to increase uh, this variable by 1 after after 3 seconds so I'm going to set uh, alarm 0 to 3 seconds so if you remind uh, I have to do 3 seconds uh, multiplied by 30 steps uh, because I have 30 steps every second so 90 so I'm going to create this alarm it will be set to at the create event to 90 every step it will decrease when it reaches 0 the alarm 0 event will activate and it will perform what's inside of it in this case val plus 1 and to see this I'm going to put a draw event and type into the text x y val and since uh, the arm is a variable you can also see it so I will type draw text x sorry y plus uh, 20 alarm 0 so now I put this object uh, one instance of this object inside a room and I run the game so you will have uh, the first uh, text uh, which will be val oh sorry I already had a room sorry the first text uh, in the top will be the val variable and the second one will be the alarm as you can see the alarm goes down it reaches zero my val variable go has been increased by 1 so he, he has gone from 0 to 1 and now the alarm is uh, minus 1 so the alarms are equal to minus 1 when not active when you are ready ha when you have uh, to set them let's make the case that uh, I want a clock so I want uh, a certain event to repeat uh, every fixed amount of time so in this case uh, a clock uh, will uh, repeat every second so every 30 steps but uh, the alarm works only a single time 
and uh, how can I do that? Simply, I have to set again the alarm inside the alarm. So the alarm stops and I set it again to 30. In this case, I can make uh, something happen every fixed amount of time. Not every step, but every second, so every 30 steps. As you can see, it works. It is uh, it's perfect. You will never lose time. It will never uh, fail. You won't have any kind of problem. And anyway, you may have uh, some problems with alarms. Some people I saw on the Game Maker forum sometimes makes uh, some common mistakes with alarms and I'm going to show them. Let's make the case that you write a certain alarm event and you want it to run as the object is created. And let's make it that you want uh, you try to put alarm 0 equal to 0 to make that event run instantly. But this won't work. As you can see, the alarm is inactive and my variable hasn't changed. This because uh, I don't know quite why, why, but if you set the alarm to 0, GameMaker simply moves it to minus 1 and doesn't run the alarm. So you will have to set the alarm to one step and uh, well, it won't be performed instantly. You will have to wait one step and uh, well, you will have to wait one step but uh, if you want uh, something to happen in the create event you will just have to put it in the create event another common mistake uh, that people does is uh, to set uh, the alarm inside the step event like this but uh, well actually the step event happens every step so every step you set the alarm to 30 so the alarm will never go down and it will never be performed. So I'm not going to I'm not uh, going to say that you can't uh, set an alarm in the step event. But you will have to put uh, a control a condition and uh, check that condition and set that alarm only if that condition is true. So you will have to to do something to prevent the alarm from activate every step. Well, that's all. I I don't have anything else to say. And well, another thing that I have to say is a stupid thing. You might, for example, think that you can't do something like uh, alarm equal to thirty and all, but the alarm, as you can see it runs itself and so you won't have problems of this so you can for example choose the alarm doing a division of a formula but it will be set anyway and you won't have any problem well that's all i hope you enjoyed i hope you understood and let's see on the next part bye